Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your May 2020 love life reading. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support, for sticking around, for still being subscribed to me. I hope all of you are staying safe and are coping well with this pandemic and everything that's going on around us. Um, if you haven't caught any of the other readings that I did, I uploaded last week. I will be, I, I'm almost done finalizing uh, my schedule for uh, now that I'm working from home, my schedule from, you know, YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, and then of course my job. <laughs> so, uh, yes, if you haven't checked out my other readings, I have my Patreon open and available for those of you that are interested. Also, my Etsy shop is available if you'd like to book a personal reading. And um, I will be adding more listings there as my schedule fluc fluctuates when I have more time and so on and so forth. Um, so for last month, I only got around to doing a few signs and I did have uh, quite a few personal readings that I was doing. And so now here we are for your May. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Your love life reading, it is going to be separate from your general and it will be a very quick, um, you know, general energy of your love life for singles and couples. And then we'll see where that takes us. Um, also, all videos that I extend from the YouTube readings will be available and uploaded to my Patreon channel. So if at any point you want to see where this reading is going to go when I go dive, dive in deeper, it will be available on my Patreon channel. I want to say thank you to Aggie for being my first my first Patreon supporter. Thank you so, so much. You guys should go check it out. I will be uploading some videos for my Patreon this week. So let's get started. What's the overall energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign? Um, overall energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So some of you need to release your ex if... Um, <laughs> sorry if I, I had to laugh. Some of you are hearing from your exes during this uh, quarantine pandemic. Um, I know that when I did the healing reading, I definitely felt like there was this, um, wave of unfinished business, unresolved emotions, needing to clear the air, things like that. Now, whether or not you want your ex to communicate with you or come back into your life, um, I'm also hearing for some of you, this could be an ex that, like, ages ago, la, you're wondering, why now? We've already been in and out of other relationships. Why now? Um, you know, and, and I want you to keep in mind that these are some pretty stressful times, and I feel that... Um, the collective conscious as a whole, some of, you know, everyone's on different levels, different states of their awakening process. They're, you know, elevating themselves to a whole other level. You may be there, you may not be there. And same for them. They may be going through some sort of awakening or dark night of the soul. Um, wow, I think I'm going to dive deeper into that one okay so let's move on let me get a card for singles yeah i do feel like i need to i need to work on that release your ex that reading will go into pay my patreon channel for those of you interested in the extended so let's see let me have a card for virgo singles for may 2020 please soulmate if you are speaking to someone maybe you decided to kill some time online meeting new people on social media whatever it may be um you may be in communication with someone who just feels like they're your um you know they're part of your soul family this doesn't necessarily have to be like the end all be all this is who you're gonna be with because we have so many soul mates soul family, soul tribe, members of our soul tribe throughout our life. Um, it can certainly be a new friend that you realize 
maybe you were an acquaintance, you know, a, a, an acquaintance with in the past, but now you're realizing you're, you know, you have a lot more in common and now you guys have been there for each other. But we'll, we'll go into that because I do feel for those of you that may have met someone or started talking to someone right before this pandemic, this shutdown, I know everyone's timeline is different, you know, because you guys are all over the place. It's I'm in LA, so completely different. We started our shutdown pretty early. Um, but I feel that if you started communicating with someone, maybe this is someone that you went out with, maybe you didn't even get around or get a chance to go out with because, you know, quarantina came and put a lockdown on us. Uh, but I do feel that As the communication has developed, you're starting to realize you have more in common. You've taken the time to really get to know each other on a deeper level. And when we're put in stressful situations, it's really important to see how you're able to carry on your life during this time. So you may be feeling very, very connected to this person. I also feel that those of you that are single, Maybe, you know, you've got old friends that started reaching out again and you're keeping in touch more often. Oh, that was for someone. Okay, my little light turned off. So maybe for some of you, that soulmate is in the form of an old friend. Family friend, acquaintance, you know, friend of a friend, whatever it may be, someone who probably you have on your social media accounts never thought anything different, and then you two start talking. Anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. So let's pull a card for the couples, and that is retreat, because for damn sure you're gonna need a retreat after everything starts opening up, right? I need to remind myself to do that release your ex reading okay so let's see let's take care of the singles this yes this is your soulmate virgo single straight up single okay i'm gonna just show them to you but i'm not going to take them because it's a lot and these are beautiful cards you guys look at that hello my virgo single friends are looking real good coming out of this quarantine this is beautiful look at that sunshine happiness new new relationship new commitment new love something that's absolutely feeling a sense of groundedness a sense of stability you take this risk this leap of faith on someone that you never thought would be your soulmate or that you would have so much in common There you are, the hermit. Or you could be dealing with another Virgo or someone who's a bit, you know, isolated. Maybe they're alone and you reach out to them because you know that they're alone and you want to see how they're doing. Two more cards, please. And two you gave me. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. Whether this is your energy or this other person, this love interest, connection, whomever it may be. Look at that. Beautiful. Ten of Cups. Yep. Okay. So, doesn't have to be any of these signs. They could be, you know, heavily influenced by these signs in their chart. Um, but whether it's you or them, apply it to your situation. The roles can be reversed. This is a general reading. So this can be someone who's been through some tough times, whether you or them, been through some major heartache. And so you've taken the time for yourself to find your way to heal, uh, whether you or them. I feel that this is the turning point to break free from those toxic relationships from the past. And maybe this person has just done that 
and finally feels like, okay, I'm ready for a new beginning. And then here you come. Or this can be you. You've been through a, a slew of, you know, a series of relationships that didn't work out. Maybe the last three or four relationships, three or four years, partnerships, connections that you've had. You felt like you were almost ready to give up on ever finding someone that is right for you. But see, the key is, Virgo, the inner work. The inner work, honey. That's what you need to do. You've had the answers all along. You knew there were red flags. You didn't pay attention. You decided you were gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Get, you know, got you in a situation where, you know, disappointment, heartache. I just said this to a friend of mine and it just came to mind right now. Disappointed, but not surprised, right? So let's reflect on that real quick. Disappointed, but not surprised. Because sometimes we want to see the good in people instead of focusing on the bad or the red flags or whatever it is. But, you know, in reality, we should be paying attention to those red flags when they come up. We should be addressing them. You, you know, you allow one red flag, you allow three or four, ten, whatever it may be. And so whether this quarantine time got you to a point of self-reflection and healing and meditating, taking the time to, you know, to I feel like someone here is like, here I am on lockdown, quarantined by myself, I'm alone, and for what? Why am I alone? And that gets you, I don't want to say triggered, but it's not a trigger. It's like a, a revelation, a realization of where things may have gone wrong the last few relationships, but that's exactly what you needed to do and where you needed to be in that self-realization mode. And maybe it felt like it was too much overthinking but that allowed you to break things down and get the ball rolling. That allowed you to see that those toxic relationships, those negative, you know, narcissistic, controlling, I'm so scared that if I breathe the wrong way, you know, he's going to break up with me or she's going to leave me or she's going to throw a tantrum or here we go again, rolling my eyes because, you know, a fight's coming. But I feel that for some of you or most of you, You've now realized that that's what you need to leave behind and you're ready to start something new with someone new and in comes your soulmate. And if it's not you that's gone through that, this person that you're talking to has most definitely gone through that already. And they're at a point where now they're looking at you like, hmm, you know, Virgo be looking kind of fly even through this quarantine. You know, she's pretty cool or he's pretty cool. How come I never noticed what a great catch they were? Mm hmm. Because you were stuck. In those negative, toxic relationships that kept breaking your heart over and over again, right? Okay, now let's move on to the couples. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, now I have to tell you. I'm definitely feeling the energy of Virgo, uh, Virgo couple here who's probably got the news on 24-7. Is overthinking, over worrying, uh, definitely reading and following up and you know going through too many news reports maybe even conspiracy theories all over social media everything everything and turn off the news cut back on the news reports yeah I feel like it's definitely affecting your relationship when your partner or spouse sees you, mm -hmm, sees you, yeah, six of swords. I, I have to tell you with that six of swords, I feel like 
whether it's you calming your partner down or your partner calming you down, but I feel like it's very important if you haven't heard this yet, I'm about to tell you, Virgo, couples, or cross watcher, better days are ahead. I know all the craziness out in the news, our own, you know, government or maybe your governor or whatever, wherever it is that you live. I'm not getting political because I, I, I just won't go there. But everyone has their opinions and ways of reporting what's really going on. And it can take a lot of work to dissect every message. And if you dissect every news report, every, you know, post, every story, whatever it is that you are just constantly watching, absorbing, know that you are also absorbing that instability, that craziness, that negativity, that feeling of uncertainty, that, honey, if you haven't had like an anxiety attack, you're about to because your nervous system, I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you your nervous system is like too much information, too much information. And when you listen to that consistently over and over again, your body goes into this fight or flight mode where you're going to start to feel it. You're even going to freak yourself out that maybe you have the virus because suddenly you feel very weak, you feel tired, you feel achy, but it's, it's the absorption of all that negative energy. Cut back. Maybe give yourself a day or two of a break. Reduce the amount of information you're taking in. I'm not saying be ignorant and don't know what's going on out there. But the more you're listening to, the more you're going crazy afterwards, like thinking about worst case scenario. But remember, everything changes from day to day on the news. Sometimes people don't even know what to believe anymore. So if you are, li it's like you're literally changing your plan of action day to day, just like they are. Okay, Virgo. So you definitely need a break. Disconnect from the world. How about you and your, you know, partner or spouse say, hey, how about this weekend? Even if the kids are here or even, you know, even if we can't go anywhere. How about this weekend? Is a no TV weekend. Is a no electronics weekend. How about we just play some music and, you know, we barbecue or we order some takeout and just candlelight dinner, date night indoors. How about we reconnect that way? Because the world has got us disconnected the more that you absorb that type of energy, okay? And, and you know, like I said, if you're feeling as though um, you're not feeling well, you're feeling stressed out, anxious, please call your doctor. Please seek help, medical assistance, you know, professional help, whatever it is that you may be needing. And if this is sounding familiar to you, don't ignore signs or symptoms but definitely learn to differentiate if your body is going into panic mode because of you know everything that's being put out there you know or you know sometimes our, our mind can play games on us because of what we're watching out there and I'm, you know i'm gonna tell you i was sick month and a half so i i get it so make sure that you seek medical assistant, professional help, do what you need to do to feel better. And it is about taking back control of your life and reconnecting with your partnership. I mean, come on, the two of cups, the empress and the emperor. This is beautiful energy. And you need to slowly but surely get back on track in your marriage or partnership. This is soulmate connection energy that hasn't been able to connect because of everything that's going on. 
I feel like, and this is what I heard, so I, I don't want to get political. This is someone's thought, thoughts. Like, I just heard someone complain um, or, like, venting, getting it off their chest, like, Giving us money, but not taking responsibility for any of it. So some of you that are like like in a bad situation financially or um, where your job is affected by, you know, COVID-19 and the restrictions at hand. There's a lot of anger and uh, anxiety. Give me two cards for the Seven of Swords. You very much want this to end. Can this already be over with so I can go make that money? Yeah. Some of you may also have lost a mother, mother figure, grandmother, or the Virgo wife is affected by this. I just heard it, it's like you don't even have any information coming in you're you're wondering you're wondering are they on the brink of death are they better what's going on one more please there's god there's no clear information or communication coming in for you guys and so you're not quite sure where this is going to go next and I feel like it has you, it has you wanting to just forget everything that's going on. You want to protest just as bad as the other people, you know, are already protesting. But Virgo's a little more logical and they're going to be like, you are a damn fool if you're out there protesting. I'm not going to catch it. I want to hurry up and get out as much as I want, as much as everyone else, but I'm not going to put myself out there. Those are your thoughts you've been keeping to yourself. Um, if not, it's definitely that, you know, thoughts of what's our next step. I also feel that your partner or spouse may be, you know, thinking about, you know, okay, let's make a plan. But I feel like for some of you, you can't even think straight right now. Look at that courtship. So obviously some of you are feeling as though... I just heard that you feel robbed by the government. They've stolen your life, your ability to make money, your lifestyle, the way things were. And I just heard it. You feel like you're going crazy. And you don't know what to do next. Okay, this has already gone longer than I wanted it to. So angel therapy card and then we'll end this here for my Virgo couples. That was the goddess, the goddess card, but I'm still shuffling. So that's some of you that need to, you know, really embody that empress energy. Remember that you're a bad bitch, Virgo. And if you're a male, embody that god, goddess energy. All right, angel therapy message for, and there you go, god box. All those fears and worries, right? Any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Virgo couples, that is your message. Thank you, my Virgo friends, for all of your support. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember that the sign with the most likes and the most views will get an extended reading. Uh, for the following month. So please uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in your general money, career, and finance reading. And if you'd like me to dive in deeper, if you want to see where this goes for the release your ex, I will be recording it and uploading it to Patreon tonight. Take care. Bye. But you need to learn how to trust and surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So you reach out to your bestie, your BFF, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, whomever you confide in. And you say, what do you think? This person reached out. 
And all they know and all they remember is all the bad that happened in the past. But what's the reality of this connection? Mm, mm, mm. Seven of Swords, King of Cups. When I ask what is the reality of this connection? This is someone who is irresponsible. Someone who, you know, will argue with you to avoid.